Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to talk about something that um, a question popped up and we don't talk about that much. We talked about IP addresses, we don't talk about a lot of the protocols but also the security behind them and the question was about secure DNS and so what's secure DNS, uh, how do you enable it, how does it work? So, and well, let's start with the basics. What is DNS? So don't, domain name system. DNS is a um, server address or a web address that actually is required. Every website you connect to have DNS or domain name system addresses. This is how um, basically the computers find themselves over the internet. So you have your own domain name system address, which is actually the one from your internet service provider. If you haven't changed anything, by default, the uh, DNS is the one from your internet service provider. When you do a request, when you search for something, you open your browser, uh, this is connecting there. And whatever you search, whatever you do, whatever website that you go to will actually have its uh, own DNS. Now, if the internet was not simplified, what we would see here in the address bar is the DNS or the domain name server of a website. And that means that you would be entering numbers to go to Google or numbers to go to your favorite websites rather than a name that you know what it is. So they uh, simplified the system so that you don't have to remember a pack of numbers. Uh, but this is basically there's a list of DNS addresses for every website on the web. And what happens is that your internet service provider as its own and it connects to whatever or sends you to whatever other uh, domain name system or DNS address for a website. So what happens there is that DNS is an old protocol and like a lot of old protocols, uh, they over time, you know, when the internet was kind of invented basically and all of these protocols came up, um, there was no malicious intent in there. There was, you know, oh, we're going to do, you know, IPs and DNS and so on until someday the internet became popular enough that, oh, look at that. There's some hackers that now have found a way to spoof or to change or to do things, bad things with that. So the DNS uh, domain name system is part of a system that, yep, it has its flaws and it can be actually spoofed. So this actually was fixed with an updated version, which is uh, DNS over HTTPS. And that means that when you're on a website, which is secure, you can actually also send or ask for websites. And of course, all the DNS info is sent out in a secure way, an encrypted way. And basically, that means also that it's safer. Why is it safer? Because to have a secure connection, you need a valid certificate. When you're in a regular connection, you do not need a certificate for DNS. It can connect and that's it which means you can connect to a website that's spoofing you or sending you to a bad site on a regular connection. But if you do use uh, secure DNS, then the bad websites usually do not have any security certificates. So it will just ignore it and say, no, you're not, you're not a valid DNS. I can't accept your connection. So it makes it more secure. It doesn't mean that somebody somewhere cannot spoof certificates. It, it sometimes happens, but it does make it a lot safer and a lot less of a problem of going to the wrong website without you really knowing that you're going to a bad website. 
Um, in Windows, there is a way to change the Windows behavior for that. But you know what? At the simplest um, level, the software you use, like the browser, all have the ability to do it. So for example, here I'm on Chrome because it's the most popular browser. Um, and I'll show you also an edge. And if you have another browser, go check it out. Every browser has this setting in its uh, security tab. Go into the three vertical dots on the upper right. Go into the settings. Here you will go into the privacy and security on the left side. And you will go into security. Here, go down and you'll see something that's called right here use secure dns so that means that you can actually um have this on and it's actually on by default i believe uh, at least mine was and i think it is for everyone and that means that you can use secure dns or dns over https as we call it now, one of the things that is happening with this is that sometimes some providers don't work with it. So you can use, actually, because this is use your current service provider, which is the DNS, the default DNS given by your internet service provider. If your internet service provider does not work with a secure DNS connection, then what you could do is use a custom DNS that uh, does support this because the DNS, the domain name system address that you have, you can actually change it. <clears throat> you don't have to to absolutely use the one from your internet service provider. Some of the popular ones out there is a Cloudflare. Google has DNS. Um, a lot of people use the Google DNS because it's uh, deemed to be faster than most others, and they support secure DNS. So you can actually customize it with um, a Google DNS. And actually, I'll make a specific video on this and help you choose a different DNS uh, and explain why you might want to choose a different DNS. So uh, by default, it's your internet service provider, and you have to be aware that there's a chance your, your internet service provider does not actually um, use secure DNS or provide a, a accessibility to it. Uh, you'll have to ask your internet service provider if all the requests that are sent through secure DNS are actually secure DNS. And while you're there, you might, if you want, change this setting here to always use secure connections whenever possible. This is also very, uh, very nice. And of course, that also means that you'll be warned that a website is not secure if this is on. Um, remember that HTTP Websites are not necessarily unsecure. It's just that you can be snooped on. I got a few websites I go to that have not updated to HTTPS, and but I do need to go to them. Um, it's just that you don't enter personal information on websites that are not secure in HTTPS. So uh, this is available here in Chrome. If you go to Edge, We'll go check it out in Microsoft Edge, th upper right corner, settings. Here you will go into the privacy search and services, and you'll go down. Going down this page, you will eventually see sliders, and one of them that I've seen somewhere, let me just check it out here. Here it is. Use secure DNS to specify how to look up the network address for websites. and this one also has a current service provider, which is your internet service provider, or you can choose the provider that you want. We're going to talk about it, and we're actually going to choose a provider in the next video and explain why you might want to choose a provider also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.